Hello and welcome back my friends, Baker is my name and Tekken 7 2.0 is the game. In this particular video I'm going to do my best to try to explain the changes that Yoshimitsu had. I have some pre-patch gameplay and with the patch coming out today it's 9.08pm. I'm going to try to get everything is everything covered as much as I can. I hope I don't make too many mistakes and if I do, well I'll drop a comment for them. Please, let's just go on this ride alright? Up first is Ryoshi Mitsu's Rage Art Flash Cancel. Uh, this move doesn't really have much of a change, just that the Rage Art animation starts two frames faster. I think that means that I just have a better opportunity of it hitting as opposed to it getting stuffed. Next is Yoshi Mitsu's 2-1. Uh, let me see, the changes on this move. The startup animations change from 29 frames to 26 frames and the cancel recovery decrease is also lowered by 3 frames. Three four had the tracking on the first hit reduced. So unfortunately, this is you know Shimizu's like one of his only moves to use to get in and it just doesn't track as well. Yoshimitsu's Ru Kick also had its hitbox expanded downward. In certain situations, uh, an opponent could be crouching, and Yoshimitsu would go for a Ru Kick because that's actually a mid launcher, and the Ru Kick will still sometimes whiff. Now it just has a higher chance of hitting that crouched opponent just because the hitbox got decreased a bit. Yoshimitsu had his Kensho plus 3 change. On counter hit, this move will actually be able to launch, and this is the old gameplay that it was before. Even on counter hit, it all still did the same thing, just had more damage to it. And the new one will actually allow you to do a combo from it. From the testing that I did, uh, wall rising plus 4 and a crouch dash plus 2 doesn't exactly work, but you can make your own stuff. Yoshimitsu's Kensho 1 plus 2 in the old version that's on here now it would still do its normal damage like that and when you use it in the middle of a combo it'll just splat them onto the ground normal like they can tech roll they can do a spring kick they can do whatever however in the, in the new patch Kensho 1 plus 2 will actually give them a very violent knockdown that's the only thing they, that they can do is actually just get up off the ground with back that's about it Forward plus four is actually going to be Yoshimitsu's new wall bounce move. Unfortunately, with the game system the way that it is, when it sets you up for a wall combo, it doesn't give you the proper amount of space that this move or any character's wall bouncing move will do because you can knock them into the wall from like a great distance and be able to make some really cool combos off of it. Uh, down 2 into 2, this move is only getting a buff in actual frame data. With going into no sword stance or just doing the move in general, the move is just faster now. Yoshimitsu's down back plus 3, this infamous low post that he's had since forever, has had its damage nerfed. It was 10 damage on the first hit, it is now just 8 damage now. The gameplay is not going to do this any justice, but Crouch Dash 1 has had its hitbox adjusted. It, what does it do? It 
the damage has went up from 20 to 22. The recovery has decreased by 7 frames. I think that means it's 7 frames worse. And the reaction that it gets while down. I didn't do this in the gameplay at all, but what this move does now is that when you hit them, they just do a backflip instead of like the super, super flips like you're seeing on the screen. But I don't have the skill yet to make that happen. Yoshi's up 4 plus 1 on counter hit now allows for a combo. I can't wait to see what people come up with this. I might actually do a small combo video for this move. And, or a lot of Yoshi misses changes as well. Yoshi misses while rising 3 in the 2. Also got the same effect on counter hit. Please bear in mind it's the second hit. Only the second hit on counter hit will allow for a combo afterwards. Yoshimitsu is practically his only punisher under 14, 14 and down. He only has wall rising 4, but this move can now transition into his Kensho stance. Another one of Yoshimitsu's most used move is back turn down 1. On counter hit, this move also has a different reaction. It also does a very violent knockdown effect as well for this. Another huge buff is that Yoshimitsu's 2 grab also floor breaks whenever you have the opportunity to do so. Shut up phone. So now, on this stage, Yoshimitsu is actually a huge threat depending on whatever you can make up. Also, what I failed to mention while I was horribly doing wall bounce combos is that Yoshimitsu's full crouch down forward 4 is now a homing move. So this move, it just tracks both ways. So you actually have to at least commit to blocking it as opposed to just uh, sidestepping it or doing any anything that involves sidestepping. I think that is it. Thank you for watching. I'm going to try to make up some combos.